Welcome to another Subconscious Saturday. Today's topic will be in honor of the new art challenge, Mermaid, where artists can draw one mermaid picture for each day of the month of May. The challenge was created by the former Walt Disney animator Tom Bancroft, who designed and supervised animation for the character Mushu from Mulan, young Simba from The Lion King, as well as Pocahontas from her respective movie. So to celebrate this awesome art challenge, I started off Mermaid with my own character, Pisces, from my comic Dreamscape. Very recently, I just uploaded a video going over the history of my story, as well as my future plans with it. So Pisces, just to go over it a little bit, uh, she's a character that is actually a siren. So a siren being a character that actually would be the type to lure in mythology the sailors to their island and then sink them to the bottoms of the ocean. Whereas a mermaid is kind of a variant of a type of siren and mermaids are typically just seen as like the beautiful, the very elegant and sensual type of characters where sirens are a little bit more malicious or mischievous as characters. So appropriately being a mermaid or a siren for dreams, what does it mean when you do see a mermaid-like character in a dream? It could mean that you're feeling something that's mysterious or secretive from either other people around you or with your own self as well as a symbol of temptation. Going back to the story of sailors from that particular dream symbol. It might also mean that something suspicious is about to occur that might be based off of something that was a little too good to be true that just happened in your life or maybe you just fell upon good fortune that might not seem right or out of place in your life. It could also mean that you felt that there was a false promise from something or someone it could also represent naivety, not trusting someone who has betrayed you in the past. So feeling like if you're dreaming of a mermaid and you feel this kind of feeling that, or this thought that has been occurring for a very long time, that you might be uneasy and sure about someone that maybe you used to be friends with or someone that you used to hang out with that has betrayed you in the past. It could represent that maybe they're luring you into something that you may not necessarily feel comfortable about. So this type of dream can be a reminder not to make the same mistake twice. This symbol can also indicate an alluring attraction towards someone. So if you have a crush on someone either in school or maybe at work, but maybe you haven't talked to them, you could be dreaming of mermaids or mermen as kind of a symbol of putting them on a pedestal of like almost a, this unreal beauty that you see, kind of almost unreachable. Now, if you felt happy dreaming of a mermaid, it can also in turn mean success or ease in your current life. So if you're a fan of mermaids and you often think of them in a very positive kind of way, dreaming of a mermaid not, may not necessarily mean a negative symbol, but rather it could mean like a sense of ease or pleasure. It could have a, a sexual meaning to it, like if you're really attracted to that particular uh, cliche of how mermaids are often depicted, it could mean that uh, in the realm of fantasy being a dream, that it's kind of a happy place or like a getaway, an escape, if you will. If you yourself are a mermaid in the dream, it could represent a sense of vanity with your own self. Or if you dreamt that one of your family members was a mermaid, it could kind of mean the same thing about them, that maybe you feel like they've been a little too vain lately. Some fun facts about my character, Pisces. Of course, with her having the name Pisces being one of the Western horoscope, I felt that with this particular character that I wanted to kind of separate her fins into a split fin, kind of to represent that the Pisces is actually two fish in the traditional Western horoscope. And she is actually a seahorse siren. So I decided to go with like a different kind of fish or aquatic creature with her character design. Without spoiling too much with her being a siren, that is also to be expected that she has kind of a malicious nature in my story. Uh, some of you out there already know some of the ideas that I have planned. I have some really comical ideas with her as well, of which I'm not going to say just yet. That's something you'll have to wait and see when she actually does get more written into the story, or you might see clues in future pictures of her, as I do plan on drawing her more for the Mermaid Challenge, and just in general, too. She does have a couple other characters that 
are kind of either related or companion-like characters that do show up in the story, one of which being Capricorn, which would be a half-goat, half myrrh creature, and the other one being Aquarius, which in my story is a giant deity vortex creature. So there's a little bit of backstory with some of my aquatic creatures that do show up in the world of Dreamscape. So guys, once again, hope you really enjoyed my painting as well as my analysis and some backstory with some of my characters. And uh, I look to bring back Subconscious Saturday. It might be a bi-weekly thing at the moment as I do have a bunch of vlogs that I would like to share with you. And kind of going off of one of my previous videos where I was talking about uh, a video game channel that actually got turned into the Ianthus and Zero Gaming channel on YouTube. So that's going to be something that we will see in the very near future. I actually already started helping Ianthus export some of his videos from Twitch, and I will be a reoccurring guest player on his channel. They're going to have a section that's called the Guest Gamers. So it's not just going to be me, but also other people that have either played video games with them over, you know, the past couple months or years. So there's going to be some really amusing footage. Uh, and who knows, they might also do like other stuff besides streaming, maybe challenges, maybe maybe races or speed challenges, you know, trying to beat the game as fast as possible. I did that with actually Legacy of Goku 2 very recently, so that's actually going to be exported very soon on their channel. So feel free to check all that out. I'll leave some links down in the description. So lots of fun stuff in store. So you'll see some vlogs, you'll see more Subconscious Saturdays. They might be more of a bi-weekly thing as stated with some vlogs in between. I plan on posting vlogs from some past conventions that I've went to, as well as some vlogs of various just art-related things that I've done very recently. So stay tuned for all that stuff. And I actually have one other plan for another type of video series I would like to post. Uh, also, I've mentioned to a couple of you guys, and it'll be more of an educational section, but a little bit with a little bit of a twist. So it's going to be very fun. I greatly look forward to posting all of these videos. So once again, everybody, see you around and sleep well, everyone.